What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video. Alright, we got all the mushy stuff out of the way. Back to the game guides. Let's talk about EX moves, something that is actually fairly critical to your progression in every piece of content you're going to be doing, whether it's bosses, crusades, events, PvE, PvP, you name it. These EX moves are the most uh, highly sought out things in the game, in my opinion, because they're the hardest resources to get. Now, if you don't know what an EX move is, I'm going to show you guys where to find it. So if you go to your training section, you're going to unlock EX moves eventually. And these are it over here. Now, they are based by A rank to S rank at the moment. I'm sure, I'm positive, we're going to probably see SS ones eventually when they drop. But I'm going to go over the ones you want to get, how to get the resources to actually summon these. Again, the gotcha on this is absolutely applicable. Um, but I'm going to explain to you guys how to get the resources uh, and then how what you want to actually summon for because you actually get to choose here. Now, there is a lot of RNG involved and it's a very low percentage to get the actual move, but there is always a chance. So let's talk about how do you get the actual resources. So the first thing you're going to do, guys, when you go to your missions every week is you're going to see the weekly ones. You're going to see these golden scrolls right here. Okay, so these Enlightenment Scrolls are where you're going to get EX moves. So free-to-play players, you're going to get two a week. Okay, there you go. There's your two. So you get to summon <laughs> twice. It's really, really sad. Uh, so those are the only ways to currently get it as F2P. Now, I'm sure as the game goes on and it grows, we're going to have more events to provide more EX moves, especially when they release brand new ones. So keep an eye out for that. But for the whales, you're going to probably going to see them sitting around the gift packs here. You can buy them daily. Here you go. You can get five daily for $19.99, Canadian. Uh, weekly ones also drop here as well, two sixty five ninety nine, And then monthly ones drop. These I bought like in the beginning of the month, I think way, way back in the day. There's a car one that came out and then this one here when it came out. So you get a limit of three. Super pricey, not worth it. Do not spend your money. Uh, but with that being said ex moves will help you progress very very far and very very quickly guys so let's talk about with the limited amount of resources that you have what you should be aiming for so we're going to cover both a and we're going to cover the ex moves for s okay so a ones there's two really notable good ones okay that's going to be the cody one and the soccer one the soccer one gives you healing and gives you hp and defensive stats um if you buff it it increases both of those now you only get two stats for the A versions, the S versions gives you four stats. As you increase the buff on the EX moves, they actually give you additional traits. So for example, two star increases the healing to 6% of max HP, healing takes to 5%, unit heal by 10% or uh, units, units heal will get 10% defense for 12 seconds, and then moves the tick to six seconds, right? Cody's actually, you do uh, reducing the speed of the opponent, which is pretty good. You damage the highest attack opponent uh, in, in the fight, and there's a 40% chance to uh, do hinder, etc. right? So these will come from, um, the summoning and idle. So if you're far enough in the idle in the, in the progression stage, you actually will get these drops from idle rewards. And they drop S1s as well too, just so you're aware. Except for this one specifically, which is only for Ken's exclusive one. So you have to summon to get these. Now for the S1 outside of the, the Gore Magala one, the one you want to aim for guys, the one that's going to push you the furthest in the game is going to be this one here. Toxic Love. This here is probably going to be the one that makes you have the most success in all piece of content. So number one, it is an HP base and it's a defense base bonus. Once you get additional buffs to it, you'll get the effect accuracy and the control inside as well. Now these are good for like def debuffers and buffers, so like Rose and Dalsim, right? Uh, and of course you get the base attack here. Now what this does, if you don't know, is it deals damage to all opponents, but it also ch has a 40% chance to charm the opponent in the front line for 5 seconds the beauty of this is you can control it manually of when you do it. So you can do your full combo, hold off on it, and charm it. And then when you do charm, if the opponent is charmed, they don't get a chance to do a combo, which lets you follow up another combo. And if they do pull off a combo, they're doing the initial move on the front line uh, opponent that you're charming, which means you usually get a KO right on the front line, leaving only two, three opponents left, the two back ones and the tag. Right now, as you increase this, you're going to get increased damage by 300%. And then the second one is pretty important because it increases the chance to 60% rather than 40. And then number three gets really expensive, but it does reduce their defense by 15%. This is the most notably useful one in all content. Now, if you want to do event bosses, though, if you want to strictly focus on event bosses, there's two other ones that you want to focus on. The Mad Ryu one here, right, which increases your attack. 
uh, and your critical rate base and makes you lose 10% of your actual HP. This one is incredible for the 8 seconds that you get. You actually pull out quite a bit of damage, especially during combos and super moves, but it does sacrifice your HP. But this one really shines when you hit about level 3 because every single percentage of HP you, you lose, damage bonus is increased by 0.2%. So this one here is going to be a massive bonus to your damage increase, but you have to pay quite a bit to get there, guys. Okay. Now the Vigilante one, this one is currently a bot package, but it's actually one of my favorite favorites because it actually deploys a droid who does damage 55% equal to the highest attack there. It also actually fills your super gauge by 50. It increases the attack as you move up and then an additional droid has got, gone up there and increases by 65 and then you actually get your crit rate up as you move up as well and that is probably my favorite one in terms of overall balanced attack but this one you do have to purchase in the shop just so you guys are aware once you do purchase it and you have it you actually will get idle drops for it as well now this one here is probably the best healing one because of two reasons number one it provides you max uh, five percent of your max hp back so this will be my second place one. i would do uh toxic love first and then and then hot this potato one next and then also increases and gives you a shield that it, that gives you uh, a shield for 12% of your max HP. Now, if you do two stars, it actually extends the skill radius. The skill radius is really, really small, but it also does damage to the opponent too, which is kind of nice. If you get it to three star, it'll increase your damage reduction by 15% while the shield is active, making you a lot harder to kill. Amazing on bruisers, amazing on power units, and great on tanks. So this is going to be my order, guys, okay? If you want to go for S, I'm going to keep Ken out of this one. This is incredible, but I'm going to keep him out because you have to summon for him in this event. But right now, the, the best one you want to go for is Toxic Love. So when you go here, guys, what you want to do is you want to click on this and choose her. Okay, Toxic Love should be your number one case. Now, you will get a chance to get these items along the way. All right, but Toxic Love is what you want to go for first. Once you get Toxic Love out of the way, go for the, the potato. Once the potato is out of the way, go for Mad Rage. Okay, those are your orders. The other ones here, the A ones, guys, will come in your idle rewards, and they'll actually pop up here way more often. So don't worry about collecting those with your, with your actual Enlightenment Scrolls. Focus strictly on Toxic Love. It is an absolute beast in terms of what it offers, and it's going to give you one of your best used... Uh, EX uh, charms, EX moves in the entire game for a very, very long time, okay? So I just want to point that out to you guys. Make sure you aim for that as your number one go-to. And again, the only way to get currency is through your weekly missions, so get those done, guys. If any event ever comes up where they will drop more Enlightenment Scrolls, I'll be the first one to let you guys know how to do it. And any other new ones that come out, I'll cover it as well. All right, guys, this is Payne. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it enlightened you. No pun intended with the scrolls. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll answer them for you. Take care. Bye now.